Welcome to People Doing Good for Others, where we praise and celebrate and hold in the light those who are truly making significant differences in our communities. I'm Gary York, and I'm grateful to be with you today. We want to thank Wilkes Communications and River Street Productions and 100.9 WIFM for this opportunity. Our special guest today to my immediate left is Wayne Henderson. He's a legend uh, luthier and musician from the mouth of Wilson area. He's been uh, playing, he thinks, about 65 years when he started when he was five years old. To uh, his left is Presley Barker. He's 13, he's the sixth grader at East Wilkes Middle School. He's been playing for seven years. And uh, Presley and Wayne met at a fiddler's convention in Union Grove about five years ago. So uh, I think it's very interesting as a luthier and a, a builder of uh, tremendous guitars that have a reputation worldwide that you share with our audience uh, this connection that you made when uh, you met at the fiddler's convention. Well, when I first met Presley down there, you know, he was playing some and, and I certainly noticed right at, the, at that time, but he was a little bit exceptional to the most kids that you see playing music, you know. <laughs> he could, he, I could see that he knew what he was doing, you know. And, yeah. and, and you know, we talked some, and, and he was interested in getting a guitar built. And, uh, you know, I have a, a real long list of people that's waiting on guitars, some of them for 20 years or <laughs> something, you know, but, uh, but when I see a young person like that, it shows interest and certainly promise of playing and interest in our music. That gets my attention for sure, and they might be able to slip up the list just a little bit. You, you know? told me once that not only was he a great musician, he's just a great guy. Oh, he's yeah. Easy to get along with. That's a, probably even as great as he plays and stuff like that. That's a... One of the most unusual things and, the, and uh, something that I appreciate uh, about as much as his, his playing ability, you know. Right. And I keep telling him, you know, you keep that personality going like it is now, and that's going to send you to the top, you know. <laughs> and uh, and it, you just like being around somebody who right. has a nice personality, right. and he's friendly, and he's... Hard cur worker. He's a hard worker. His work ethic is amazing, and it has to be to be able to learn how to play like that. It takes a lot of work and practice. Yeah. And he's uh, courteous and nice to everybody, and... And he's just got a great personality. He smiles all the time. You, know, that, you can't help but like somebody that does that. And, Presley, uh, you remember that the first moment when you met and then going to visit the next week? Tell us about your side of it. Okay. Well, I remember that as good as it was yesterday. I remember as soon as I met Wayne, I, was, I, I knew he was, he was just an amazing guitar builder. I've heard about him before, and I was like, man, I, I, I'd love to have one of his guitars. And, and uh, I just got to be real good <laughs> friends with him, and, and I got to going up to his shop, and that's one of my favorite places to go in the whole wide world that I've, that I've been. And, uh, and I just love being up there, and I appreciate Wayne so much and how he's mentored me, and he teaches me tunes about, about every time I go up there. And, and I was so honored to have, well, two of his guitars. So, yeah. So I'm real blessed. Well, well let's, let's pick one. Okay, well. I, I built him that first one, you know, and yeah. made him a nice guitar. Then he then he won the next one in the right. contest. You give away one of your guitars at a competition there? Yeah, I do. I have a little uh, festival the third Saturday in June okay. every year, and it starts out with a guitar contest, and and it, it's not easy to win that contest because, you know, people wait for 10 years to get one of those guitars, and they can get one there in five minutes without having to wait. You just have to beat people like Presley here, you know? And uh, so that's a, that's a cool thing. You come up and got to doing that. And so we'll, if you want us to play you a tune. Yes, I do. Uh, I've, do. I've taught Presley a few tunes. He's got a wonderful teacher, Steve Lewis, he takes lessons from, too. And, uh, but I uh, teach him a tune every once in a while when he comes up, and this is one. An old tune called Temperance Reel that I taught Presley, and he like like what usually happens. You know, I teach him a tune, and by the next week he can play it better than I can. You know, but we get him started at it. So, so Presley, have at it. Right.
Good job, uh, Presley. Thank good you. job, Presley. And Presley was at the Grand Ole Opera a couple weeks ago, and I had the honor of uh, being there. And Is I that shall right? always cool. uh, treasure that memory of the, oh, yeah. the first time to play there. So now I, your style, the it, styles are a little bit different now. Wayne, tell us, is this well, called old time music? Yeah, or? sort of. It would be on my case for sure. <laughs> Presley might be a little more of a bluegrass type flat picker, you know, digger. But I, but I learned, my dad was an old time fiddle player, and I learned doing chords to back up fiddle tunes is what I started playing. And uh, I was influenced by uh, a neighbor, E.C. Ball was his name, and he Thumpy played the Travis style, played gospel music mostly. And uh, he influenced me to use a thumb pick, but it's pretty hard to play those fiddle tunes with a thumb pick, <laughs> you know, in, a, in any kind of a Travis type picking. And so those tunes need to be played the way Presley plays, with the up and down notes in a row. And so I had to devise some way to do that, you know, with my thumb and finger. So I picked down with my thumb and up with my finger like that so it sort of sounds like flat picking and uh, and uh, so I, I, I can okay. play those single notes in a row so you and just said real, talk you just said to figure it out yeah and uh, when <laughs> and when I first started playing when I was five years old you've heard tell people being all thumbs you know life certainly <laughs> was I would uh, lay my guitar down What style? You tell us about yours, Presley. You you, you want to be a Doc Watson protege, uh, so you're a flat picker. Is yeah, right? I, I flat pick, which I mean, I just I do a kind of unusual thing that hardly nobody does. It's just I don't anchor my hand when I when I pick. Most people will do that right there, or leave some kind of finger down to pick, but I I never could do that, so I just I did it like that, but. I think that maybe is his secret. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, uh, and I, I really love Doc's music, and I always wanted to, uh, what first, when I first heard him on the radio is what got me wanting to play the guitar. When I really? heard him, I think, play Black Mountain Rag or one of his yeah. tunes, I just yeah. knew I wanted to, I fell in love with the guitar. I wanted to pick uh, like Doc Watson. <laughs> That's what I, I That said. was one of the songs you played on the opera, wasn't it? Yes, Black it Mountain was. Rag. Let me hear that one. Can you want to do that? Yeah, we'd love to. I, is, I got to hear that on the radio. Oh yeah! And I heard it, heard it loud and the clear. The crowd just went crazy. Oh, I heard, oh, I, I heard, I heard all that. It's, 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 it's like a, like a, it's, it's electric in the. Yeah, in the, I, I in could, there. I could tell that. Oh, it was amazing. And, uh, and Ricky Skaggs done a good job of talking about him and introducing yeah, him. I thought yeah, yeah, real good, and yeah. Presley done it. Excellent job oh, playing. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, uh, he's, uh, I was just so proud of him. I was Me sitting too. there in my shop, you know, listening. I was to just numb. I was just, oh yeah. my goodness, here I am. <laughs> yeah. Well, dude, like, uh, you know, Ricky Skaggs too, said this young man believes in keeping this old music alive and said one of his heroes is Doc Watson. He said, kick it off, Preston. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go.
Uh, wonderful. Now this is number 52 as a builder. Tell us a little bit about the, the well, uniqueness of it. This old guitar, I mean, it's nothing fancy and it's real plain and, and uh, of course I sort of like that in a way, you know, and when I'm out playing, I tell people I can't afford these nice new fancy ones, you know, like I build now. But, but this one was uh, the, when I designed this peg head shape, you know, that's right. sort of the signature of, yeah, a, of yeah. an instrument. That's your brand. Guitar. It's a brand, you know, yeah. your peg head shape. And and took me years to come up with something that didn't look like somebody else's guitar right. yeah. or didn't look like a Martin, a squared off peg head, you know. And, uh, and it's hard to get people to change, you know, to accept something new. Sure. And so I figured, well, this, this old guitar, it's got this odd shaped peg head and stuff, I'll just keep it myself, you know, and I didn't figure anybody would have it. And uh, I got to playing it, and I've played that thing ever since, for ever since 1979, so it's almost 40 years. So with years, does the sound get deeper, better, or will well, it change a lot? Well, a piece of wood, when it vibrates, you know, it, it develop, develops a character and, and uh, you know, scientific stuff, you know, those molecules line themselves up with vibrations that travel through the grains of the wood. And the more they do that, the easier it is for them to line up. And that's the reason older guitars, I think, sound better. And, uh, you know, or, or one that gets played a lot, you know, and, and that causes those vibrations to happen. It lines up those molecules of the grain of the wood and, and you get that little vibration happens easier than it used to. Okay. And uh, I think that's the reason, you know, guitars that gets played a lot and older guitars, you know, they sound sound nice and clean and, you right. know, like an old guitar sounds, you okay. know. And uh, you build them right, even newer ones still sound good too, but, right. but it'll always right. get better the more all, you play it. All your guitars sound good. <laughs> there ain't <laughs> one, that, in my opinion, that's ever sounded And yours good. is number? This one is number uh, 710. 710. Yes. Okay. I want to make sure we thank your family for the opportunities that you have. Your mother brought you here today mm -hmm. with Luke, and uh, her name is Julie. Yes. And, you, and your daddy, Eric, and daddy mm -hmm. works for the system. Uh, and your mother's uh, kind of devoted her life to being your agent, maybe, or <laughs> getting you to and from. That's really important that, in that way. That is. You would not believe how important that is. And, uh, and, and, you know, Presley is, you know, like bragging on his personality and everything. That, that comes from being family. raised right, right, you know, yeah. and and his family and his little brother Luke is my yeah. best friend and is buddy, it? and I just <laughs> love him and 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 that's a, I just love it when they come to the shop and right. and and Presley, I mean, he'll get older some of these days and probably get him a car and <laughs> stuff like that. But I always look forward to seeing his family, yeah. you know, yeah. anytime yeah. I'm out yeah. with them and. And his mom is a wonderful agent, and she goes to yeah, a lot of trouble uh, and work yeah. to have Presley everywhere yeah. he needs to be. She put all this together today. Yeah, well, yeah. I, oh, I yeah. can believe that for sure. Yeah. And, and we, uh, know we're grateful to Worst Communications, and this uh, this is a real diamond in this community, this TV station. Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't even know. Yeah, this this is this is a, the the leadership here says that this is a gift to the region to yeah. have this TV station. So. You're, you're part of uh, a giving back, if you will, of well, uh, this community. We're certainly proud and happy to be here to be a yeah, part of this yeah. and to be part of this t yeah, TV system. Yeah. And, and the and River Street Productions, up. and so this, uh, we have a team here, there's four or five of us, and we meet every other Wednesday, and we do two sessions Wednesday mornings, and so uh, I oh, just cool. got up one morning and was dreaming about this happening, and I just... I said, well, wow, wow, what if we could make that happen? And so it just came together well, like yesterday. We're and sure glad you did because this, this is a way cool thing. Yeah, it is. And we're, we're very happy to be okay. here. To let's be hear a, a one. Do you all have a favorite one you do together that, uh, well, let's what see. would it be? Just uh, the rest of this time is about showcasing the, the tremendous talent and well, passion for this music. Uh, I always really enjoy hearing Presley play a, a dock tune, and there, there was a, when I used to get those records back in the 60s yeah. that had, uh, uh, you know, all those fiddle tunes and stuff that Doc played, that we'd never ever heard done on guitars before, and it's just amazing, and there was one on there called Nashville Picking, it, it was a country music 
instrumental tune done by Speedy West to start with, a steel guitar player. And, uh, and I used to work on that tune to try to get my mom to set the needle back on the record and stuff. My mom was a good promoter too, but oh, she didn't drive me around everywhere, but she would do stuff like that, you yeah. know. And, uh, but Presley learned that tune so good. It's one called Nashville Pick, and he plays it just exactly like Doc did, I think. Oh, my goodness. And Let's I'd, go, Presley. I'd like to hear him just let Presley do this one. Okay, I, all right. That. Okay. So, one called Nashville Pick. Him. All right. Cool. And Presley, um, tell us a little bit what it ha means to have a Wayne Henderson in your life, to know that uh, a person that cares that much for you and a great teacher and a good person that, uh, just tell us a little bit about Wayne Henderson. Okay, well, you know, I'm so thankful to have Wayne in my life, all he's done for me and uh, just everything and just making the guitar for me and, and just being the uh, I'm so humbled to be able to sit here beside of him and play tunes with him and talk. Likewise, talk to him. here. No, <laughs> no, and just, just uh, so thankful to be able to come up to his shop, you know, and hang out with him and to be spend this uh, precious time with him is just always going to be a memory for me. And yeah. so, just so important to, to me. Be to be with a legend. Yes. A real legend. Yes, at, that, that's, that's a age. living legend right here. Yeah, that's, legend. that's spreading it on a little thick <laughs> here, but I do, I do appreciate that. Yes, sir, Wayne. We're <laughs> grateful yeah. that. Uh, you make a great team. You know, you're just, uh, I call it synergy when you connect like the two of you have and, and come up with the, these songs. Are just uh, Well, it's, it's easy to connect with somebody like Presley, oh, such a wonderful yeah. player and such a wonderful yeah. young man. And just, I just have all the admiration in the world for him. And just like I say, for his, not only his music, but just the way he yeah. acts and yeah. conducts himself and the way, he, you know, he reacts with people audiences or yeah. whatever and you see he connects with the audience I, yeah. I just it's so amazing to see the how you uh it's like when you presley in an audience you bring out the best in people you know the yeah. people will just want you to oh, I know. Tell, show us something presley. one of the one of the first times we ever went out and played at a, for an audience together you know and he was t you know 10 then you know and 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 could play like crazy and <laughs> and when he's over there burning up that guitar i look at it the audience and every person in there smiling and that that's a pretty normal pretty normal thing you know they're amazed at him and and uh as i am yeah. and and he's uh, a good performer and and he you know I, I appreciate Christian. him. I appreciate him playing. You know, having Doc yeah. for a mentor. Oh yeah. And uh, I was fortunate that you know Doc was a good friend. 
Yeah. And uh, hung out in my shop a lot, and I built guitars for him too. Oh my goodness! And uh, you know, he lived not too far away, and especially his later years, I think that shop was his favorite place to loaf. And yeah. and uh, even I feel like he's still around musically. Yeah. With, okay, let's see. play a couple more for us. We're coming close to the. I could stay yeah. here all day, but I know you guys <laughs> got to go to Merle Fest, so uh, let's have two more. How about that? Okay. Uh, this. Uh, one I like to play that I taught Presley one day is a, is a polka. You, you don't hear that on guitars too much. And uh, I like the way Presley plays it. And we play it together a little bit. One called the guitar polka. All right. And uh, so let's do that one a little bit. Today, you're just a great team, and you just uh, you like kind of when the two of you get together, it's that synergy is, is one and one makes ten. Like you know, when you get together, and you, you have that eye contact. Sitting where I am today, I just would treasure this as long as I live. Well, thank you. We thank appreciate you. you having us, and, and this uh, brought great joy and blessings uh, to our little TV station, and uh, we have uh, uh, Jim Coleman and. Uh, Chris Scott here producing for us today, and what an honor. I mean, we're just in awe. How's that? Well, thank you. We, we, we are, too. We, we, we all, you know, this is a wonderful station. I didn't even know it was, yeah. was here. Yeah, you know? we're, doing some, we're doing some good work here, and uh, the guys in the background that, that make it all work. So 
uh, kick off something and we'll okay. just play this to the end and we'll, uh, hope y'all come back again sometime. Oh, no, we'd love to. Uh -huh. this, we, okay. that, we've had a great time being here and, and appreciate you having us and, and it uh, just a good opportunity. It's always great for me to get to pick with Presley anytime. Uh, yeah. And uh, so uh, our leader here was uh, is Adam Foster and he's in the back room. Uh, everything pulling together. I don't know how all that works, but so with three guys today that pulled all this together for us and what an honor again and for those guys who serve that you don't ever see but make all of it happen. No, yeah, for thank sure. Thank you very much. Well, thank you all. Presley, how about a little bit of the Alabama Jubilee? That's one of Presley's hot never shit that he does. <laughs> and and uh, so let him kick it off and we'll, I'll, I'll hang on a little bit while I can. You know? <laughs> Barker honoring us in a special way. Thank you for being with us and see you next time. <laughs>